Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius. My Aqua Baby, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from 11th till the 17th of April. Guys, please remember these are general readings. Times fluid and energies can be reversed. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you're here for the first time, welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back, Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Welcome back. Everything that you do for my channel really helps and it matters and it makes a difference. So truly, thank you. Let us get going, Aquas. Let's see what is the challenge that might show up this week. The advice from the universe. The challenge is here, I am told. And the possible outcome. This wants to come out too as a challenge though. Hmm. And then we are going to, of course, clarify all these energies and wrap up the reading with an oracle guidance message. Absolutely loving the advice. Ace of Swords. But something else. I don't know what it is. This week we are using the Greek mythology oracle deck. For the first time I'm using it and getting quite strong messages actually out of that. Something is leaving us in our head. And what is that? Star. I love that. That is you. That is you. That is your major arcana as the overall. So is it about claiming yourself back in some way? Getting back to who you were? From wherever that is coming? Yeah, that's getting back to your, your balance. That is getting back to your senses for some wow okay let's see what the challenge is okay knight of pentacles and the nine of rods something has been very exhausting something that has been moving but moving at a snail's pace and it is demanding a lot of energy from you at every level mentally and physically and you know you have to put in a lot and it seems like what we are struggling with is the output. There's too much of input and very, very minimal output. And that's leaving us drained. Whew. Ace of Swords and Temperance. Wow. Talk about balance. I'm taken to both these cards. And we have a lot of fluidity here. We have a lot of water temperance and star if you look at the way they have been depicted in both the cards there's one foot on the water and one foot on the ground that is staying rooted and finding balance with emotions there is something that is off balance you know that thing is coming back to me again as uh, coming back to your senses that's what you need to do that is what is going to bring balance here Find your ground and, you know, get that flow going and the flow will go if we have some tough chat with ourselves. We got to bring in some facts on the table that Ace of Swords feels like fact check, a reality check of sorts. I see confusion coming in from that a reality check because whatever this is this that you've been working on you've been putting in a lot in this so it is that conundrum of when to carry on when to put in all that you have and keep going and persevere and you know push yourself and when to say I don't think this plan is going to work. Yeah, you're stuck in between that. Hmm. Let us see. Let us clarify. Spirit, Knight of Pentacles with the Nine of Rods. Why do we have this energy standing in the challenge for my Aquas for this week, please? Yeah, we see temperance in the challenge as well. It is about 
taking that balanced call and we have not been able to take that balanced call and you are definitely very strongly advised to sit with yourself and do some reality checks here and you know it feels like it's not ego no 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 it is not ego it's emotions running high it's like i have given this so much how can i lose this yeah emperor wow that is strong energy and magician all standing in the challenge would the end result be what you thought of yeah you are questioning yourself like really a lot let us see what is this reality check that we need to have ace of swords yeah king of rods this is about acting rather than just sitting and we've been putting in a lot of time sitting and thinking and there is a sense of negative self-talk i feel here you have kind of almost given up with that nine of rods i'm getting that feeling that you're like i don't know whether it was the right choice to make or not dude let us see more to come for this yes another one is here and this very conveniently said pick me so i am oh my god look at that there are things that you are you know kind of in the middle of a few other things that you still have going so this is not just one thing that you are putting in so much of effort there are other responsibilities i feel here in your life that you have and you've been juggling with that i think you've put in too much into this and ignored and neglected the other things that needed your attention now this could be when professional life overpowers the personal life we start neglecting those for whom we are actually working so hard but at some point we become just you know very narrow sighted our focus just stays on one and everything blurs out because clearly this is something that you hold dear you've been counting on this you know you've been trying to manifest something great to come out of this so i can understand but do you see this family is everything i hear there's been a juggle going on between what you have wished for and family there is this need of work life balance that needs to come and you need to deal with this you want success sure go for that but there is a sense of balance this temperance i'm taken to this is that balance that we are talking about yes go for what you desire yes go for your dreams there is no reason why you should not maybe this is a phase wherein you know you've kind of become one track mind and blocked everybody from your life whether it is your family whether it's your friend you just you know kind of i get that workaholic vibe right now family is everything loves family and friends that is where the true abundance lies and this is what you need to balance bring in that balance look it's not going up and down it's very much where it's supposed to be sure there are things that you need to deal with there are going to be always some struggles in the background going in the back of your head of course but that is that reality check that tough talk that you need to have with yourself that man if i got to do it a king has a lot of juggling to do a king does not say you know what i can't take care of my people because i have to now suddenly go to whatever delegation or whatever you see what's going on right now in the world there is one who is showing heroism at leadership at a phenomenal level and then we have people who are leaders for name sake i'm not trying to get political here i'm just stating what i feel in this situation coming to that king of rods that the king has to take care of everybody 
family, friends, work, negotiation, delegation, prepare for the worst scenarios, but at the same time, who's going to take care of routine kingdom business? No? We got to. We got to. That is the balance. That's the sense that you need to come back to. What is this two of swords? How come we are so much in our mind when we have this tough talk? I see the ten of pentacles there with that ten of cups in the advice. There's something else here. Oh, yeah. See? That is the reason why I feel you're coming to your senses. Seven of swords. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There is nothing that cannot be fixed. Okay. So hold on. This is what we have been doing to ourselves. Seven of swords. We have not been kind to ourselves and nor to the people around us. We have been kind of not genuine in the sense that we do say, I'm here, am I not? When someone says, you're not spending time with us, and I'm talking about family time, and no, you're not, because you're physically there, you're not mentally there, so you are fooling nobody else but yourself, because they clearly did not feel your presence. So, yeah, we've got very good cards here. I'm just concerned about this two of swords here it's leaving us somehow in our head not in a happy place realizing that that is what has been happening coming back to our senses we realize how completely off the point we were because this is this is really really good energy we have 10 10 10 here we have 10 of cups in the advice 10 of pentacles 10 of rods the queen of swords. See, this is the tough talk I'm talking about, you know, realizing that you've not really been fair and just to those people who truly care about you and are rooting for you. So, yes, keep working, but it's going to take time and understand that. Three of rods, it is going to take time. Page of rods, but that calling is there and things are going to move. But you need to have the patience to realize your dream. But at the same time, while working for your dreams, for the things that you hold dear to, for what you are holding the ground for so long, don't ignore your family and those who matter to you. Family and friends, yeah. Follow your calling at the same time. Bring in that work-life balance. That is the gist of this. Yeah, bring in work-life balance. What do we have? Transformation. Persephone. Let us read this for you, my loves. We have it even before I could say anything. Persephone. A young girl, Persephone. I hope I'm saying it right. I don't know these Greek gods. This is the first time anyhow I'm reading this. So I will have to update myself as far as pronunciation is concerned. Was abducted from the arms of her mother, Demeter. Ooh, oh, okay. I know Demeter came for your fellow sign Libra. Yeah, the mother of Persephone. Ooh, okay. The mother and the daughter combo come in for my air sign. And forced to wed Hades, the lord of the underworld. Eventually, a deal was brokered in which she spent the growing season with her mother above the earth and the winter season below ground with her husband where she ruled the underworld as queen. That is what I'm saying, you know. The winter, the summer, gotta come to that balance. Whom to give how much time, where to invest how much money, where to be present when you are truly present or not, no? all of that. As a young maiden, Persephone symbolizes youth and innocence in all things. Her story teaches us that we must all experience life's hidden mysteries and then mature into that which we must become. For deep in the earth, seeds prepare to germinate and expand. Their time in the cold and dark is necessary for they will 
soon grow, as Persephone does when she lies with her husband, taking innocence into maturity and adulthood. You may now feel as if you are in the underworld. See, that is this feeling down and not knowing and being unsure and feeling exhausted. All of that is what I feel again. But know that your soul is unconsciously preparing you for new wisdom and a fresh cycle. That is what this star is all about. Soon, a rapid growth will help you see the light, that wheel of fortune right there, my loves. So, Aquas, bring in that balance. Don't ignore family and friends. Keep working on what you are. Don't lose heart and things shall soon start moving in the direction that you desire. And on that absolutely fantastic balanced note, I'm going to take your leave. Thank you so very much for joining me. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.